Nowadays, a lot of the data we deal with is text. For example, tweets, ads, CVs, Amazon reviews, and I would say the majority of online data is primarily textual. Given this, the field of text analysis has grown immensely and it's used for everything from detecting gender bias to counterterrorism. One simple example of text analysis comes from the online dating site OkCupid. The bar chart shows the number of messages with a given character count. There's an interesting downward trend. Most messages are short, but there's still some really long ones. The red line shows the proportion of messages sent that got a reply. There's a slight upward trend between 20 and 100 characters, but it's fairly flat. This implies that the length of your message has no relationship with how likely you are to get a reply. To get a flavor of doing large-scale text analysis, let's look at the Google Ngram Viewer. This example shows the prevalence of phrases across 200 years of text derived from millions of digitized books. Because we often have so much text data, think billions of words from millions of tweets, books, reviews, or user records, it's often possible to use fairly simple analysis methods and still get interesting results. This plot shows the number of occurrences of three animals over time. Hares were more popular than foxes until 1900, while badgers were never popular. Looking at text over time can show us how interest, trends, and even the use of language has changed over time. The Ngram Viewer can be used in more advanced ways too. Let's have a look at some simple searches to get a flavor of what it's like to work with text data. One simple example is the use of wildcards. The results here are from searching for the agony and the star. This means find a number of occurrences of the phrase the agony and the blank, where any word is allowed to appear in the wildcard slot. If you've encountered regular expressions, for example, using the Linux command line and performing lookups in SQL, this should be very familiar to you. Back in the 19th century, we had the agony and the suffering. Then in the mid 20th century, people started saying the agony and the sweat, which became less popular over time as the use of the phrase the agony and the ecstasy took off. We can also use the Ngram Viewer to search for parts of speech. For example, to differentiate words that can be both nouns and verbs like fly. We see that the verb fly as in fly a plane is more common than the noun fly as in the buzzing insect. Text analysis generally requires you to have a fairly good knowledge of the vocabulary, grammar, and syntax of the language you're studying. As we go through the different text analysis methods, one important thing to note is that all of our examples are in English. The rules of English grammar are obviously different to French, Spanish, or Japanese. As such, code that you find typically only works for a particular language, usually English. Since you may encounter non-English text in your work, it is important to keep in mind that code bases and datasets for, say, Swedish or Indonesian are typically not as developed as for English. We can also look at word dependencies in the Ngram Viewer. Basically, how often one word modifies another. Searching for scientist implies brilliant, we'll find mentions of brilliant scientists, brilliant social scientists, brilliant female scientists, and so on. Here we see brilliant scientists are mentioned consistently more often than evil ones. Lots of problems in text analysis are about identifying entities in documents, like scientists, and figuring out what is associated with them. This often means trying to find the descriptors or emotions commonly expressed in relation to that entity. We can combine different operators to perform more complex queries. Here is a result of the query for data implies star underscore verb. This searches for what verbs have been applied to the word data and shows what people have been doing to data over the years. Notice that the phrase data set got popular around 1970. The Ngram viewer is here incorrectly assuming that set is a verb rather than a noun. It's very hard to eliminate all the edge cases when working on text data, and most analyses involve lots of manual checking, so if you're going to do text analysis, prepare to do a lot of reading. Text analysis usually involves a number of steps and the construction of a data pipeline. Data is gathered, cleaned, we might then do some simple analysis like counting word frequencies and use that to organize and prune the data set further. Then we try to use one or more mathematical or statistical methods to aggregate and summarize the data set. This approach is also called natural language processing, which I'll use pretty much synonymously with text analysis. These videos will be a brief introduction to some key ideas and useful techniques in the computational analysis of language.